This week, we're reading Belle and Boo and the Goodnight Kiss by Mandy Sutcliffe. To buy the book and read along, click the link below. This is Belle and this is Boo. They are always together, like me and you, on sunny days, rainy days and dreamy let's be lazy days. It's been a busy day, said Belle. Very lots of busy, agreed Boo. And I'm a nice kind of sleepy, said Belle. <gasps> Very sleepy, yawned Boo. The birds and squirrels were all going to bed. Even the sun was getting ready for bed. Is it our bedtime too? asked Boo. Almost, said Belle. But it's bath time first. Belle had a warm, splashy bath with two little boats bobbing on the water. Boo wasn't sure about baths. He blew bubbles instead. Is it bedtime now? he asked. Almost, said Belle. First we have to brush Raggedy Doll's hair and we have to tuck up Snuffly Elephant and Honey Bear in their basket, said Belle. It's a very cosy sort of basket, said Boo. Now is it time for bed? asked Boo. Almost, said Belle. After our milk and cookies. Boo was very sure about milk and cookies. I can't go to sleep without milk and cookies, he said happily. Now we have to clean our teeth, said Belle. And we mustn't forget our bedtime story, Boo said, getting out his favourite book. It was an exciting story about a princess and a dragon, <gasps> like you. Belle read the words and Boo looked at the pictures. Then he decided to be a noisy, chasing up and down dragon. Rawr! Rawr! Boo! laughed Belle. It's supposed to be bedtime. But Boo wasn't quite ready for bed. Being a dragon <clears throat> made me thirsty, he said in a hot kind of voice. Belle smiled and went to fetch a glass of water. I know, said Boo. I'll hide. That will be a big surprise for Belle. She likes surprises. Boo tried hiding in Honey Bear and Snuffly Elephant's basket, but it was a bit full. He tried hiding under the bed, but it was a bit dusty. Achoo! said Boo. He tried hiding in the toy fort with its tall walls and pull-up bridge, but he wasn't very comfortable. And then he found the perfect place. When Belle came back, Boo had vanished. He wasn't in the basket, or under the bed, or waiting behind the door to jump out as a big surprise. Oh no, said Belle. I can't find Boo. And I haven't given him his goodnight kiss. Boo had forgotten about the most important part of bedtime. I'm here. Boo called, jumping out from under the covers. I'm here. I want my kiss. Oh, Boo, said Belle. I looked everywhere for you. I'm so happy to see you. <gasps> I'm glad it's bedtime now, yawned Boo as they snuggled into bed. Will tomorrow be a busy day? Very lots of busy smiled Belle. And will we be together? asked Boo. Always, said Belle. Then Boo sang a together song. <coughs> together f No, no, right. <coughs> right. Together for No, right, right. <coughs> Together forever, that's me and you. 
But now it's good night from your best friend Boo. Then Belle gave Boo the biggest, best good night kiss ever. Mwah! And Belle and Boo fell fast asleep together. The end. What a lovely story. And thank you so much to our friend Ivy for suggesting it. See you next time, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.